What's up guys, today we're going to learn how to do this portal transition effect. First you'll need to download this portal transition plugin. I'll leave the link to it in the description, it's a free download. So once you've downloaded the plugin, you just want to save it in your motion templates transitions folder. There's also a tutorial on how to install plugins on my website. So on the timeline, I have my two video clips which I want to add this transition to. The first thing I'm going to do is select the right hand side of my video clip and then go over to the transitions tab over here and scroll down until you find the portal transitions. And on this one here, let's double click to add the transition and you'll see it just adds the transition to the two video clips. And if I play that back, we have this transition effect added. To speed up or slow down the transition, we can select one side of the transition and crop it to speed it up or make it longer to slow it down. And then if we select the transition and go over here to the parameters, we have a bunch of different parameters which we can change. We have the saturation, we have the value which is the brightness of the portal. We also have the hue which lets you change the color of the portal. Uh, we can add some more glow to it and change the glow on the portal. We can also change the blend mode, although screen is usually the best option. If we click on rotation, we can rotate the portal to give it a different look. We can change the distortion on the inside of the portal and also on the outside. And then down here, we also have portal size. And I wouldn't mess with this one too much, but you can slightly change the size of the portal. And then also there's an added zoom at the end of the transition to the video clip in the background. This is automatically set to zoom the background, but you can set it to zero if you don't like how that looks. To get the quick montage effect that I showed on the intro, what we need to do is firstly drag the second video clip underneath the first video clip and the transition just like that. Then we can either add a new transition to the end of this second video clip, or if you want to keep the same design, we can select this transition and copy and paste it by pressing Command C and then Command V, which will copy and paste the transition. And then let's offset the transition slightly, making sure this video clip still extends underneath the whole transition. And then we can drag in our next video clip underneath this transition here. And on this one, I'm going to slightly change the rotation and then let's repeat those steps onto the next video clip. So let's copy and paste this transition and bring in a few more video clips underneath here. So now we have all of these video clips with the transitions overlapping. And if I play that back, we get this cool montage effect and it's super easy and quick to do. This portal transition is part of a new portal transition pack, which I just released, which includes 13 different portal transitions. So over here in the portal transitions, we have a bunch of different designs and different speeds of transitions. Each portal is pretty unique and they're also all customizable. Down at the bottom, we have the vertical video presets, which has the same transitions, but they're optimized for vertical video. So this will work with vertical video too. I'll leave all the links to this transition pack in the description if you want to go check it out or try it out. And that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. In the next video, I'll be going through even more cool transitions and effects for Final Cut Pro. So subscribe if you want to check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next video. I just